more than, a number of semesters, more than 47, this is the admissions rate for this range, 28.5%. So that's higher than the, what did we say, 19.5% before, right? That's more than the old admissions rate, right? So you have a better chance if you have more than this. And 62% of all the admitted freshman class had more than this semesters. Again, I wish they gave me more detail. Like, they just said over 47. They don't say over 50. They don't say over 52, over 53, right? And again, the average is 51.5. That's not easy, though. That's, that's really not an easy number to hit because many students, they don't like to take four years of Spanish. Maybe they take only three years. Maybe one year you take it a little easy and you take a class that doesn't count. Maybe you take like um, dance or you know, art always counts. Maybe like a dance class or choir or maybe a TA. Those classes don't count. It's easy to fill your schedule and not have enough classes that count. So if you do the math at home, th that's not easy. You, you have to have a full schedule every year every year and if you don't have a full schedule what's the only way to get more summer school that's why in the summer so many kids like to go to De Anza or West Valley or whatever to pick up extra courses to boost this number actually the community college courses are excellent because it does it impacts all three things we talked about it impacts your GPA, it impacts the honors and AP course, because it counts as an AP course, and it impacts your A through G semester count. So that's a very powerful tool if you take an extra community college course. All three, that's really powerful, <laughs> okay? Okay, so more observations about academic record. So the UCs like to see commitment. For instance, they like to see foreign language for all four years. I mean, that doesn't mean you have to, but it looks good. If you can do it, try to do all four years. I know not everyone likes their foreign language. They do it because they have to do it for school. Many students tell me, oh, Jun, I really don't like my Spanish class. I struggle to get my B. Junior year, I don't want to take honors or AP. I already fulfill my requirement. Can I just stop? You can, but it, don't say it doesn't look good, but you can. <laughs> they like to see that you can commit to something for all four years, okay? Ideally, ideally. They like to see consistency. That means the same or more number of honors in AP courses year after year, okay? Like I said before, don't get easier, get harder, right? It doesn't make sense to take a lot junior year and all of a sudden, Drop senior year, doesn't look good. They like to see consistent or rising difficulty. They like to see improvement in your GPA. Improving GPA trends semester after se semester through high school. Let's say when you graduate high school or when you apply to college, your GPA is 4.0, okay? Let's just say a flat 4.0 weighted. Maybe you went like this you slowly got up to 4.0. But maybe someone else, sophomore year, did really, really well. And even junior year, first semester did pretty well, like this. But then all of a sudden, the second semester junior year, a bunch of Bs and Cs and going up to 4.0 versus coming down to 4.0. Who do you think they're gonna take? Of course, they're gonna take going up to 4.0. So they look at the trend as well. They look at the trend as well. So improvement, declining GPA and or rigor of schedule by senior year looks bad. Don't take it easy senior year. Okay. Maybe keep it the same. It doesn't have to be always like that, but at least keep it the same. Don't, don't take it easy. Okay. Basically, they're looking for evidence of discipline to survive the first year of college. When you take an AP course, or an honors course, more AP. You know what AP stands for? AP is advanced placement. 
basically that's a freshman level course in college. Okay, when you take a push, that's like that's like freshman U.S. history at UCLA or at San Diego. That's a freshman level course at a, at a university. So when you take a lot of AP courses, it's almost like the schools get a preview of how you can handle college. Does that make sense? It's a preview. And if they see that you only take, you, you only try one AP course or one honors course, what are the UCs gonna think? Oh, this kid is afraid. This kid is not even trying to show us that he or she can succeed. They're trying to take the easy way and get an easy A in the regular school. That's their interpretation. Because the AP and honors courses are basically like college level courses, equivalent. So you have to show them, I'm not afraid of those courses. You can't be afraid. You're gonna take those courses in two years, right? Show them now in 11th grade that you can handle it. Okay, so that's what I mean. Looking for evidence of discipline to survive the first year. They wanna see if you can survive freshman year. Okay, also, the UCs and all private schools, all schools, okay? I hate to admit it, but schools are still about money, okay? Because the schools, they worry about their ranking. They worry about how the rest of the, the, the public and society views them. So they worry about their rankings on US World and Report, the Newsweek, all those rankings, okay? They wanna keep those high. What keeps the rankings high? Well, there's a lot of factors, but one of the main factors is yield rate. Yield rate is the percentage of freshmen who will stay in school after freshman year or after sophomore year. You never hear about it, but there's people who drop out. A lot of my friends in college after freshman year, they couldn't ha handle it, they dropped out, okay? But you never hear about them, okay? Maybe they have to drop down to a CSU. Maybe they have, they have to go back home and do community college because they couldn't handle the, the big four-year college, okay? So they wanna make sure that if they take you you will stay there, you can handle it, okay? At least past sophomore year. If you can handle through sophomore year, you can probably finish college, okay? So if their yield rate is high, then their rankings go up a little bit. Maybe they, um, they get a little bit more money from the state or from alumni. So basically, they wanna make sure you don't flunk. They wanna make sure you don't flunk out after freshman or sophomore year. That's why, the, that's why all these academic, Academic numbers are important to make sure that they know you can handle college life, okay? The yield rate. Okay, so these are frequent, frequently asked questions from my students, okay? Should I take as many AP classes as possible, even though I might not get good grades in all of them, or should I take easier classes and get A's in all of those? Okay, we just talked about that, right? Show as many hard classes as you can, okay? I said, in general, you should take as many challenging courses as you can, as you can handle. You know yourself better than anybody else does, okay? Even if it means getting a few Bs. Good colleges know how many AP courses are offered at your school, okay, okay. Do not get Cs and try to make, get more As than Bs. Now, I think my next question here, the next question is the important one. How would someone, I'm sorry. How would someone who earned a B in an AP or honors course compare to someone who got an A in a regular class? I get a lot of people asking me this. Because for the GPA, isn't it the same, right? A hard B is the same as a regular A. Points, by points they're the same, identical, okay? AP on honors means increased difficulty. So it's worth more even if the equal points. Because even though the GPA effect is the same, isn't the honors and AP count higher, right? And we said that's one of the main things, AP and honors count. So you, you boost that number when you take the hard course, okay? This quote is straight from the UC website, okay? Students who take the most challenging classes available during high school and do well in that program are viewed most favorably. Students who have not challenged themselves academically, even if they get very good grades, would be at a disadvantage in the admissions process. 
Those are not my words. Those are the UC's admission boards. They said that directly. It should be very clear to you. Try to challenge yourself as much as you can with AP and honor boards. But, but, I know it's very competitive here. It's hard. Like, like there's pressure to take so many honors and AP classes. So maybe you fill your schedule with like four honors and AP, four, five, but maybe you can't handle it. But you, you feel pressure to take it, especially after what I just said, <laughs> right? And all your friends are taking these classes, so you want to keep up with them, okay? So I will give you one, one caution, one bit of caution there. I did say every time, um, I don't know where I put it over here, here. As many challenging courses as you can handle. If it's too stressful to take four or five AP in honors, like you have no time to sleep. Every night you go to bed at 2 or 3 AM, and then you have to get up at 6 or 7. You're just killing yourself to finish your homework. You get no sleep. You're cranky. You gain weight. <laughs> you're mad at your parents all the time. You just It's because you're, you're, you're not healthy. Then maybe it's too much. Your health is still more important than your grades. <laughs> so take a lot, but only as many as you can handle. I know that's hard advice to follow sometimes, because here you're trying to keep up with everyone else. Maybe f keep up with your, your cousin who's so smart. Keep up with your neighbor's kid who's so smart. Or your mom's coworker's kid who's so smart. Everyone's laughing because you know you do that to your kids. <laughs> I know because my mom did that to me too. <laughs> but that's okay because I could keep up with them. <laughs> but in general, I understand. It's hard. It's hard to keep up. But your health is more important than anything else. Try to challenge yourself, but don't go crazy. Okay? If you can only handle three, handle three. Take the three, but do very well with the three. That's okay. okay? Don't kill your tr yourself trying to take four or five. Do as many as you can, and everyone has a different magic number, okay? Be reasonable about it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Is it all right if I take honors in AP courses only in one subject that I'm good at, like math and science, but not any of the humanities? That's very common. I mean, around here, I get a whole bunch of math and science people, right? And they don't want to take a push. They're like, oh, too much reading, too much work. American Lit Honors, too many essays. Forget it. I'll take regular and get my easy A. I want to take Physics AP and Chem AP at the same time. I want to show that. I want to take Calculus BC as a sophomore and show that I'm really good. Forget the Honors English. Forget the U.S. History. Okay, Very common here. 